What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at all the huge changes in today's 16.20 vehicle update in under 5 minutes. But before that, have you been struggling to conquer the primal landscape of chapter 2 season 6? Well then you should head over to ProGuides.com where we've got pro coaches waiting 24-7 to help you improve fast. Don't have time for a coaching session? Use our VOD review system instead. All you need to do is upload a gameplay replay and our coaches will give you feedback in detail on exactly how you can improve. Okay, let's go over the patch notes from the Fortnite status Twitter account first. The big change for this update is going to be the new vehicle attachments coming to the game. Vehicle attachments have been spoken about in the leaking community for what feels like forever at this point, but they're finally arriving in 16.20 in the form of brand new wheels that allow you to have better control in off-road situations. Situations. Next up, a special duos cup will be happening at some point over this patch cycle and it's all going to be based around using the bows. Finally, 50 player matchmaking is going to be enabled in creative, meaning player made creative game modes will now have the potential to be bigger than ever. Taking a look at the map of this patch, it's pretty obvious that nothing has really changed about the primal landscape. However, if you're a fan of spring, then you should be pretty happy that the primal landscape now seems to be going through a bloom. There has also been a slight change to Catty Corner. The garage has now been updated to become Chonkers Customs to fit in with the new Chonkers wheels. On the subject of Catty Corner, Sparkplug will be spawning there and she sells 8 mechanical parts and can upgrade your weapon, which is going to make Catty a super contested spot after she gets added to the map. We're going to be seeing some new weapons coming very soon. The grappler bow and the splinter bow have both been added to the game files. Obviously the grappler bow will work similarly to the grapple gun from previous seasons and you'll be able to buy it from Lara Croft on the map. We're not really sure what the splinter bow is going to do yet or where you'll be able to get it from. The new mythic spire assassin recycler has also been added to the game. It's going to do more damage than the gold version of the weapon, but not really by all that much. What's interesting is that this Spire Assassin's Recycler will actually be replacing the Mythic Spire Assassin's Primal Shotgun, which should hopefully balance out the shotguns just a little. Slurp Mushrooms have also been added back into the loot pool. As usual, the data miners have been hard at work uncovering all the new cosmetics that have been added to the game this patch, so let's go over them. First up, we have Aspen, then there's Princess Felicity Fish, Grimy, Eco, which kind of looks like a new 7 skin, and of course the Rebirth Harley Quinn skin that's tied to the Batman comics. There's also a new orange variant for both Mystify and Cryptic, and a Dream Ranger variant for the Bush Ranger. For the harvesting tools, we've got the Graffite Axe and the Devourer's Bane, which is honestly maybe my favourite harvesting tool in the game now. Just look at that thing, it's awesome. There's also a new Celestial Style for the Slicers. Next up, the Back Blings. We've got the Glow Bee and Harley Quinn's Revenge. There's also a new Dream Hive Style for the Buzzy Bag, an Orange Style for the spectral spine and the skeletal wings and a purple style for the number one. We've got two gliders this time, the Flutterfish and the Drip Dropper. For apps, there's the Aqua Royale, Bloomsday, and Grimules. There's one more skin leak that's pretty cool, and it ended up being confirmed by some LTM strings of all things. The LTM is called Team Up, Aloy and Lara, and will involve using loot from wildlife and technology to upgrade your weapons. That's cool and all, but it basically confirms that Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn will be making their way to the Fortnite Island sometime soon. New tires, a new bow, and the removal of the Mythic Primal Shotgun might shake things up a little, but honestly, this update was kinda lackluster. There's nothing that's really going to shake up the Fortnite meta, and there aren't any new animals to get excited about. Hopefully the next update will do a bit more to elevate the season. Either way, I've been Matt, this was update 16.20, and I'll see you in the next one.